In this video, we will look at how can you deploy to a local IS server uh, from Visual Studio and we'll invoke the same API that we have developed in other videos. So to get started, uh, let me go to the, my, the IIS on my laptop and then I'll say add application. I'll give it a name.net IIS to indicate I've deployed to IIS. Now here I'll provide the path inet pub www root and then I'll say .net IIS right and there's a test settings so it is not authorized so let me provide a specific credentials set it probably expects my email id let's say okay and then save so this path it says it doesn't exist so let me go out and create one so i'll create a folder so i got it i just click ok so here i have now a sample application which currently doesn't have any code So now coming back here, uh, if I if we can look into the uh, if I can go back to the publish. Now there are two publish. One is where the one which I have deployed to folder. So what I'll do, I'll add a, a new publish mechanism. Now I'm saying publish it to my web server IIS. So I'll say next. Here it is basically. Uh, uh, option to select whether do you want to do a package based deployment or regular application I'm going to say use web deploy and then now it's expecting to provide the server name so the server name is localhost site name is default website slash dot net let me check it's dot net IS. So I'm basically specifying the details and I'll say next, finish. <coughs> now I have the uh, settings configured. I'll say publish. So it has successfully published. So now going back to the folder, you can see the same settings file and the required DLLs and the application files, including the web.config is all copied. So now going back to IAS, uh oh, just to be uh to reset the server and provide all the details what i'm going to do is i'm basically going to create a, a do a reset of the server example i can just do uh, stop and start uh, now if i can explore again once more the dlls are there so i go ahead and browse so as long as you get 404, which means that there's no default API, I can say API slash demo question mark name is equal to chai. So it, you get the response. So what we have done here is configure an IES server and in some instances uh, configuring configuring the IES website may not be required. You can when you specify the website name, uh, Visual Studio will take care of deploying it for you creating the website and deploying. But uh, this is the way to, uh, from Visual Studio, if you, if you have a local IS setup, uh, you will be able to deploy your APIs locally outside your dev environment, and then go ahead and deploy and test it so that you know the changes that you have done uh, work as expected when it's deployed to the you know, dev or staging environment. So, <coughs> So it's always a good practice to uh, have a local IES so that all the local changes that you're doing, you could test it uh, on the IES. It's similar to testing it outside the dev environment. So uh, I hope this video was uh, helpful with respect to deploying to IES and uh, thank you.